Now we have the American tourist who was bitten by a shark while diving in the Bahamas, and she had to have her leg amputated. The 73-year-old woman from Iowa is speaking from her hospital bed. Will Reed joins us now with that story. Good morning, Will. Good morning, Robin. The Iowa woman had been diving for decades and said that she had never been threatened by a shark, but when she was attacked, it was like being hit by a truck. It cost her her leg, and now she's speaking out. It was a, like a scene out of a horror movie with blood everywhere. This morning, a 73-year-old woman from Iowa who got the fright of her life in the Bahamas, recovering in the hospital after a shark encounter left her with injuries so severe, doctors had to amputate her leg. I didn't even see him approach me. He came from below and it was just like a truck hit me. Heidi Ernst, an experienced scuba diver, had just finished her dive in Grand Bahama earlier this month and was climbing up her boat's ladder. I've been diving for 11 years. I've never had a shark even threaten me in any form or shape. I saw that he had my, or she probably had my leg in its mouth and, and starting to shake its head side to side. In the middle of the attack, Heidi says she knew she had to fight back to survive. She hit the shark with her hand. One of the crew members, all I could hear him say is, get in the boat, get in the boat. And I got up the ladder and jumped in, into the back of the boat. Friends jumping into action. I could have easily bled to death had it not been for my friend who put the tourniquet on my leg. Um, he, he saved my life. This attack comes on the heels of two other shark encounters in Florida. In 2022, the U.S. had 41 unprovoked shark bites. Florida had 16 cases alone. A new study by Shark Lab at Cal State University found that great white sharks are actually more common on the California coast than previously thought. Look at this stunning drone video of sharks in the water with humans minding their own business. And while your chances of getting bitten by a shark are slim, there are more sharks now due to years of conservation efforts. Our east and our west coast are returning to abundance at levels we haven't seen since the 40s and the 50s. We are going to deliver our American children an ocean full of fish. And as that ocean full of fish gets warmer, those fish and other marine life will move closer to the shore. Naturally, sharks will follow their prey, which puts them in closer proximity to humans. So if you're out at the beach this summer going for a swim, don't go out alone. Don't go out too far. And if you see anything that sharks prey on, get out, guys. All great advice there. Makes a lot of sense. Okay, well, thanks. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.